So, it's been a while since I've made a video. Probably best I get back into it with news from the GTA verse. Digga dum dum bim digga dum bim bim bong. Breaking news! A part of GTA 5 source code for the Rage game engine has been leaked. People of all modding capabilities are able to download the source from GitHub. Also to come, a large majority of the anti-cheat systems for the next update of GTA 5 on PC have been removed. Digga dum digga dum ding ding dum bim bong. To be honest, I get a lot of this stuff wrong when I try and report about it, so I'm not even going to try. What I am going to do is just provide my insight and speculations about this topic, so here we go. Source code. It's a very expensive thing to have leaked. For Rockstar Games, it's an absolute nightmare. For the fans of GTA V, it's a dream come true. Why? Well, when you get the source code to a game, it usually means quite a lot in terms of the modding scene. With the source code, modders will be able to dive much further into the inner workings of Grand Theft Auto V. They will be able to tinker with stuff that currently, as of late, we haven't been able to, like the graphics renderer or the core systems of the game. Like, for instance, GTA V VR mods. Before they were taken down, they were always a bit, uh... Well, they worked, but they didn't really resemble anything that Rockstar Games would be able to if they tried. Firstly, you needed an absolute unit of a PC to be able to run it at decent FPS, and the controls and interface were always a bit... jank. It might come as shocking news to you, but GTA V's Rage engine doesn't actually support stereoscopic rendering, if I'm not mistaken, which means the game can't render more than one camera at a time. That's also why there's been no proper two-player mod since the game's release. It's just not feasible. But you might be asking how did they do it with the VR mods in the first place? Well. It's basically, they have one camera, they render the left eye, then they render the right eye. It does that really fast and while it does look stereoscopic, it is just one camera doing all of the work. Well now that modders have more of the source code of the game, they may be able to make workarounds to the engine and add features that we as fans have long been crying out for. Personal things that I want modders to make for GTA 5 with this new source code. Couch co-op multiplayer split screen. Proper VR support with good controls, DirectX 12 and Vulkan support for rendering. Unfortunately, as we all know, Take Two are right bastards when it comes to keeping GTA 5 mod free. They just won't let us have our fun in our rightfully purchased game! You know what? If Rockstar were actually more cool with mods and embraced the practice, I reckon we would probably have a lot less malicious activity in the community. Just saying. People only get more curious to the stuff the more you try and lock them out, Rockstar. Speaking of malicious, that's a good segue to the other subject, anti-cheat. I'm not too educated on this subject, but apparently a lot of the anti-cheat systems on the PC version of GTA V are being removed for the next update, because that was also leaked. Which is good, because Rockstar tried about as hard at making anti-cheat as CPU7 does at actually running a computer program. Ha! Get it? I made a computer joke! Ha! Ha! CPU7! Get it? Ha! <laughs> ha! In all seriousness, if what is said is true, and what some dude called Tez says is true, GTA V may soon be getting a dedicated anti-cheat service to be installed alongside the game. Now I wonder who would be providing that service? Hmm... Yeah, I don't know why it's taken Rockstar this long to do it. Maybe all these years they've been like, No, I want to make the anti-cheat service for my own game and no one's gonna help us. And then as of recently they've been like, Oh, fine! We'll stop trying to develop our own anti-cheat service for our own game and we'll let someone else do it because we suck at making anti-cheat. We. If this is actually going to happen, first of all, a bit friggin' late, Rockstar, don't you think? Perhaps this is just a taster for GTA 6 Online. They may just say, screw it, we're not even gonna try. We'll just let you handle it, Epic Games. Secondly, ha! You deserve it, you terrible community. Yes, there's a lot of nice modders out there who use mods for fun and helping other people out, but that doesn't make up for all the doxers, the stream snipers, and the terrorist teens who get their 
kick out of inconveniencing other players who just want to have some free mode fun. Thirdly, single player mods. It might get in the way of installing those at first, but just like in GTA San Andreas PC version, I figure all we'll need to do is simply downgrade our versions of GTA 5 to be able to enjoy a modded single player experience, so I wouldn't really worry about it. At this point, Rockstar should really just make the Steam version of GTA 5 moddable by default, so then people who just want to fool around in single player can do so without the worry of being sued by Take Two. I kind of already do this myself, just a bit more manually. I've got two installations of GTA 5, one for modding and one for connecting online. Anyways, that's my thoughts about the news. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and yeah, I'm still making videos. Anyway, see ya!